What up, this is July Kickback Couture, and today I'm going to be mixing a beat. I'm going to show you my process. I did have another one, but um, I think there's more elements to this beat, so it'll be a little more in depth. So I'm going to start with explaining what I have on my kick. So I do not have to mix it because I have a maximizer in my template, and I have this meter that makes sure that it hits at negative five for me so let's see let me show you what that sounds like didn't color any of these i was just like yo that's the beat negative five is here and that's where it's hitting so i mix everything relative to that so now I'm going to bring in my 808. So rather than using an 808 on this, I just realized that I used a bass, funk bass. So I'm gonna mix that in. And I won't be talking too much because I'm gonna use my monitor so that I have a better reference than my terrible headphones. So the first thing that I should have done was organize these. I didn't realize everything was all out of place. So I'm going to select these and move these over and then make these all one color. Turquoise is fine and I'm going to move it after the base group and I'm going to move my base group in front of my, my uh, drums just because that's the way I prefer to do it right next to each other. Oops, and move this over here. Cool. And rather than using these faders in the in the rack or even here, I'm gonna use this gain knob up here in the input section to change my levels. So I got my drums mixed. Um, there, there's nothing on my bus or anything. Uh, my drums pretty much sound the way they do. That's how I made them. I made them from scratch. So 
Um, all the processing I did to my drums was in the sound design portion of the creation process. So I usually don't have to do anything to my drums unless it's an 808 and I want to carve out some frequencies for something specific, some other reason that may lie within the particular beat I'm working on. So now I'm going to start adding my melodies. So with this electric guitar, the gain was already turned all the way down, which is very peculiar and probably was a mistake on my behalf. So I'm going to turn down the volume within the actual rack extension itself and then come back up to the mixer and see what's going on with it. Looks like I had some reverb on it, but that's not affecting the sound, so I'll troubleshoot and see what's going on, but I'll probably just keep it at where it was because it sounded good. Now I'm going to go to the next section in the loop and see if there's some unique sounds and it looks like that's where this house ball guitar comes in so so I'm going to set the loop to take a loop to this part right here and then move it a little bit so it's not too repetitive.
going to move on to another section of the beat again. That'll be this one right here. Alright, so that's how I mix my beats. After that, I will go on to adding stuff in my master section. What I usually add is an audiomatic. I put it on tape saturation and I turn down the, the wet level. So, I'll let you hear what it sounds like with it and then without it. This is without it. And you can hear how it got smoother, but I'm going to turn it down a little bit. transform knob play with that a little bit so that's the first thing I put in my ma my master section the second thing I usually put is a maximizer so I put it on that one I put it on the same one as my kick over here which is hard so I usually don't have to set this because I have a template, but I recently started from scratch, so I'm building it over again. I put this margin on negative three, so I have some headroom for the engineer when the rapper records over the song. I made this beat for one of my clients, so I make sure I have headroom.
make sure you're not crushing the dynamics because if you are, it's gonna sound like this. Then there's no definition in the drums, everything's just loud and that's not dope. You need to be able to hear that kick pronounced when it hits, it hits, that's the loudest thing next to the vocals when the vocals are laid down. So make sure you leave headroom. You don't want to do more than about eight, eight uh, decibels unless your um unless your your beat is really quiet. And in that case, you need to bring your levels up before you even go to mastering. So make sure your levels are good. Make sure they're not clipping before mastering. And then when you master, you bring it up to a good good level. So on my loudness meter is gonna be hitting around say negative 15 and negative 12 because the final version is going to be about at negative 9. Now you can look at a reference track if you prefer to do that but I make sure I leave headroom for the engineer. So that's good. I'm not gonna go super loud because like I said you want to leave headroom so about Negative 15 is good, negative, negative 13 at the, the most. So that is how I mix my beats and that is the basic master chain that I employ when I am sending out my beats. So if you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and most definitely let me know what you would like to see next and it's all culture.